that's flopping friends do you guys remember when i used to say that don't mind my hair it's i do this thing at night which has like helped my hair this is like a hair tip um to make your hair wavy and also not damaged is to braid your hair like upside down my camera of my battery or my battery <laughs> The battery to my camera died, so I'm on my phone now. I don't even know where I'm looking. Is that the camera? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, what I was saying about my hair is I've been braiding it upside down. I don't know if you can tell. I've been braiding it upside down, and I'm just going to leave it like that because I'm going to go work out. So, no, that's not what I was saying. What I was saying is I asked you guys a while ago if you would rather see week in my life videos or day in my life videos and the week in my life videos won but it was like very close and a lot of people said that they would like to see both so i think i'm gonna start doing that just like occasionally do a couple of day in my life videos occasionally do a couple week in my life videos i feel like i'd do a week in my life video if i had like a lot of stuff kind of planned for that week but anyways i'm gonna be doing a day in the life video today that's what i'm trying to say so today's a vlog and this is i guess it's just like a typical day in my life i don't really know um, I'm just like I have plans with friends. I feel like that'll be kind of fun to just show you like a casual fun day today <laughs> But right now I am going to take Dixie for a walk I'm gonna get really excited when she actually hears me say that so I'm gonna take her For you know one of those and then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to go to the beach and go for a run Bringing it back to the good old days when I used to do that in like every single one of my videos um, I haven't ran in a while so I'm a little scared but it should be fun and yeah i'm just gonna take you guys along with me today and show you guys what i'm doing dixie do you want to go on a walk do you want to go on a walk dixie do you want to go on a walk do you want to go on a walk dixie I am just drinking water like I do every morning because I am staying hydrated. I just ate a bar from Trader Joe's. It's just, it has like five ingredients. Wait, actually, let me look. I normally don't eat before I work out, but I like to have like a little bit of energy before I go for a run, which is what I'm doing. So I just had one of these from Trader Joe's. I should honestly be sponsored from Trader Joe's because I swear Everything I eat is from Trader Joe's. <laughs> it's just one of these bars. It has dates, peanut butter, peanuts, flaxseed meal, and sea salt, and that's literally it. So just five ingredients, vegan, and I already ate that, so I am going to drive to the beach now and go for a run. Hey guys, so I am back and better than ever. I'm back from my run. Um, and by the way, I didn't change because in my last video, everyone's like, you literally changed like eight times in this video, which is true, but I'm still wearing my workout clothes. I just put a jacket on because I was kind of cold. Anyways, I got back. I had to go to the post office, but I just got back like 15 minutes ago and I just made myself the most amazing smoothie bowl ever. I'm going to show you guys. Can we just appreciate, first of all, she is very thick. If you can tell under all those toppings. Um, this granola is these coconut clusters from Costco, which they were sampling the other day and they are literally the best things I've ever had in my life. So I'm really excited to try them on a smoothie bowl. And then I just have some pineapple, strawberries, and blackberries. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I feel great. I'm excited. I'm happy. <laughs> So my run was okay. I think I ran like two miles. I wasn't, I didn't have like a app that was tracking how far I ran, but I think it was like two miles. My legs were so sore. I did a couple like stair workouts, um, but yeah, I'm pretty exhausted, but I feel good. I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I ran. And the ocean was so beautiful. It's such a beautiful day today. I actually think I'm gonna go to the beach with my friend today for a little bit, so that will be fun. But right now I'm going to eat this beautiful smoothie bowl before it melts into a Puddle. <laughs> Hello friends, how are we today? Yum! So good! Just gonna fill you in on my plan today. I went to the post office, I went running, making breakfast. After this, I'm probably gonna clean my room a little bit, organize it, 
I bought a bunch of plants the other day so I am gonna kind of like put them in my room and figure out where they're gonna go at some point today I'm going to meet my friend we're gonna get sandwiches at our favorite sandwich place by the beach and then we're gonna go eat them on the beach and hang out and then <laughs> what else am I doing um, probably just like replying to emails doing like the daily the daily grind oh yeah and then tonight I am I think I am potentially taking the train down to San Diego I live in San Diego but I don't live in like the city of San Diego I live like outskirts of San Diego so like go down to the city and go to Juneshine which is like a kombucha brewery I don't know if you call it a brewery but like it's like alcoholic kombucha and they have a location in San Diego I've never been my friend has so I think we're gonna go and hang out and drink some booch craft Juneshine is it is it kombucha actually I don't really know so that's the plan today this granola is literally crack like I'm not even kidding it's the greatest thing ever I'm gonna finish eating this and then I will see you when I'm done. Hey, didn't see you there. Welcome home. I never said that in the beginning. Oh, I said what's floppin' friends. Honestly, the reason why I say, well, the reason why I started saying what's floppin' friends is because I found this shirt at a thrift store one time and it said what's floppin' in like retro print and I was in love with it and I thought it was funny because who says what's floppin'? It's a great intro. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I don't know what's happening down in this area today and this is the wrong shirt to wear for that, but um, I might change. So, anyways, I am, I did change, but we might change again because of that. But I'm wearing this striped shirt that I got yesterday while thrifting, and then some vintage jeans that I got thrifting yesterday, too. I thought it'd be fun to do a little plant haul, since I was talking about how I went plant shopping the other day, and I'm gonna, like, arrange them in my room. I figured before I arrange them in my room and put them inside my house, I will do a little haul a little houseplant haul for you guys hello everybody and welcome to angelina's houseplant tour so today i'm going to be doing a houseplant haul and showing you all of the plants that i bought the other day but i also don't know the names of any of them so it'll be a mystery plant and if you know the names you can let me know but that is all for today folks okay let's get into it i spent 70 dollars on plants by the way so this is what $70 of plants will get you at your typical nursery. I bought tropical plants, succulents, and cacti. So, just a little mixture of both. Let's just jump on into her. I will start with my hanging plant. I only bought one. So, she is beautiful. We'll give her a little twirl, a little whirl, show those different angles. She's beautiful. She cost $8.99. And she is a Philodendron Brazil. So this one actually has a sticker on. I know what she is now. Um, I just really like the colors of it. Her. I'm just going to refer to all of my plants as hers. I hope you guys are okay with that. Um, I really like the color of her. It's like dual color. Like if you look at this leaf, it's like dark green and light green. It's very interesting. I don't know if I'm going to hang her or if I'm going to just put her on something. I actually haven't really figured out what I'm going to do yet. So that's what today is for. So the next one that I got is this beautiful Diffenbachia compacta. Diffenbachia? I don't know. <laughs> but again, it has like the dual colors. I really like it. I was looking for a plant, a couple of plants that were kind of tall because they have a plant stand that I needed like kind of taller plants. So it looks like this one will kind of grow up and out. Okay, the next one is a Philodendron monstra. These are some of my favorite house plants. I love them and she costs $9.99. Again, they grow up. These things can get very huge, but if you keep them in like a container or like a pot this big, then I don't think they will, but I mean, if you plant them in the ground, they will just like get super big, or at least in my experience, they have. The next one is one of my favorites, and I don't think I've ever actually seen, I've never owned one of these before. Maybe I've seen them before, but I really, really wanted it because it's like this, is. I think it actually is called like a zebra something doesn't have the sticker on it, but it has like these striped leaves, which I think are so beautiful. Do any of you guys find this interesting at all? Like, am I just literally showing you guys plants that I bought and you're just like, why are you doing this? Let me know if you find this interesting. Okay, the next one that I got is, I don't know the exact name, but I think it's like a staghorn fern or a variety of a staghorn fern. And these are some of my favorite plants. I never have very good luck with ferns though, so I'm like hoping that 
I can keep this one alive for a while. Um, ferns are just kind of, uh, in my experience, they're a little bit more fragile than like the philodendrons and the pothos or whatever those are called. But this one was $9.99, even though she's a little bit smaller. But I just really like these. And yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so I got a couple cacti and succulents. This cacti is a ferrocactus wislizony. <laughs> Don't know. $5.99. I'm gonna come closer so <laughs> you can actually see. Can you see her? Yeah, so she's like a little bit spiky. She's got a little attitude. I think they were each $1.99. Yeah, $1.99 each for these little baby ones. Wow, there are literally so many plants today. I'm so sorry for that obnoxious noise. So I got a little aloe plant. I know it's really annoying that they all come in plastic. I don't really know of any nurseries where you can get plants that don't come in plastic containers. If they do like plastic free nurseries, let me know if you know of any. Otherwise, I'm assuming they'd be really expensive because then you'd have to buy them in like ceramic like containers. So that would be a lot of money. But so I apologize for all of the plastic. Um, but I don't really know an alternative way to do that unless you buy like used plants. Not used plants, but like people selling their potted plants that they don't want anymore. Anyways, I got a little aloe. She's cute. Um, and then I got this other succulent, which I don't know the name of, but you can see it's actually really interesting. I really like this one. They didn't have my favorite succulent, which I don't know the name of it, but it's like kind of a zebra striped succulent and I literally love them so much, but they usually have them. They didn't. So I'm kind of sad because I really want one still, but I will find one somewhere. And then I got this little baby cacti and I don't know what it's called, but she's also got a little attitude like the other one. I hope you guys enjoyed my plant tour, my little haul. Um, I'm planning on doing a room tour soon. I'm like redoing my whole room right now and it's in the process. So once it's done, I will show you kind of how I organize my house plants and like where I put them and how I decorate with them. But yes, thank you so much for joining me on my first ever house plant haul. I guess these day in the life videos are gonna kind of be like what I eat in a days as well because I'm probably just gonna naturally show you what I'm eating throughout the day, but they're not gonna be like me showing you how I'm making them, if that makes sense. But anyways, I just made a salad. Um, it's kind of like a Buddha bowl, but mostly a salad. I just added, it's just greens, um, a salad mix, and then this green dressing from Trader Joe's mixed together, and then a little bit of leftover potato that I had last night that I just heated up, some sauerkraut, and then some of this uh, where is it? <laughs> Some of this veggie burger that I cooked up and then crumbled up. It's a Dr. Prager's veggie burger. They're very healthy and have like really minimal ingredients in them and I really like them. So, and then there's like some cherry tomatoes in there as well. So that is what I'm eating. <laughs> Drinks? No, are they? Oh, nice. Where are they? they don't have any you know what I miss? They're I miss Bundaberg. You can still get it. That's great to do. Yeah. <gasps> Bitch and sauce. <laughs> I don't need to be in the <laughs> You do. Mm, I want spring rolls. It's me. Uh, no, I have a lot of spoons, but thanks. For Pop up sponge. Yeah. <gasps> Remember when these were like all trendy? Nope. Really? I bought one and then I smashed it on accident. <laughs> I dropped it. <laughs> Are you 21? I'll help you. I'm fucking good. Button up my pants because I'm too full. <laughs> this is my boyfriend Tanner. How long have we been dating? Since eighth grade. Eight, eight years now. Wow. We should get married. Put a ring on it, that bitch. <laughs> 